Hey guys, today let's talk about 10 things I hate about parents. Well, not all parents, but quite a few of them. Number one, parents lie about picking favorites all the time. Mom, why did you pay for Sarah's college and not mine? Oh, um, it's because you're so smart that you're capable of supporting yourself through college. Oh, hey mom. Yes, honey? She's your favorite, isn't she? No, 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 no. Mom? Yeah? Liars burn in hell and so do people who kill themselves. What's that have to do with anything? Because you're already lying, you may as well kill yourself too! Number two, they have double standards. Now listen here, cloud strive looking motherfucker. If you ever hurt my daughter, I will kill you. Okay, but what if she hurts me? Say again? Well, you just said you'd murder me if I ever hurt her, so I'm wondering what you would do if she cheated on me, set my things on fire, and or decided to poison my food. Well, obviously I will scold her. I will tell her it is wrong. I see. So if your daughter commits adultery, if she tries to destroy all my things, if she makes an attempt on my life, the only thing you'll do in response is tell her that she did a bad thing. Whereas, if I merely make her cry if I hurt her feelings, you'll do something so drastic as to attempt to commit a violent crime against me, risking getting yourself thrown in prison for 25 plus years. Uh, yeah. That's about it. You're a fucking idiot. Number three, they like to give advice that they don't take themselves. Hey darling, I've been wondering, uh, do you use drugs? Yes. Well, you're grounded, missy. Well, if you're gonna punish someone, punish yourself. What? You set a horrible example by doing drugs when you were my age, so shut up. Okay, see, that's different. Why? Because I'm not you? No. And who are you to give me advice anyway? A former drug addict loser? Hey, watch your mouth. I don't really do drugs, okay? But you just admitted that you did. The only reason I said that is because I knew you turned into a huge hypocritical prick. We had a good talk. Number four, empty threats directed at you if you don't do what they tell you to. Hey, sweetheart, can you come do the dishes? I have too much homework. Can you please find someone else to do it tonight? Oh, uh, excuse me, do you want a spanking? In our state, physically assaulting your child is illegal. Uh, no, I can spank you if I want to. Now, how about you go do the fucking dishes, Dad? Listen, I'm not doing this because you told me to. I'm doing it because I'm a good dad. So maybe, maybe if you were half fucking decent, person, you weren't a total piece of shit who's going nowhere in life, you know what being a good parent's like. You waste of fucking air. Number five. <laughs> lying about putting your happiness before anything, saying they want you to be happy no matter what. You know, I just want to say something. Uh, sometimes it's really hard being a parent, but I just, I love you. Oh wow, enough to support me when I make major life decisions? Only if your every decision falls within the realm of my cookie cutter plan for you. And that's why I hate you. Number six. Acting like they're better than people who don't have kids. Do you have kids? No. Then you have no idea what it's like to love someone with all your heart. Oh, so that's why you get drunk and yell at them all the time. Number seven, tricking their kids into believing in supernatural seasonal beings. Honey, can you come sit down? Okay. I need to give you some bad news. <sighs> what? All right, uh, Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, Tooth Fairy, and so on, none of them are real. They aren't. No, a guy who sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake, he knows if you've been good or bad, and so on and so forth, Magically, even though there's like billions of people on this planet, common sense tells you that's not possible. Oh. And a little fairy creature that automatically knows whenever you've lost a tooth and it's under your pillow for some reason, uh, replaces it with money. That's stupid. I don't even know why you'd believe that in the first place. Okay, so you lied about all those things. Well, it should have been obvious. The idea of magical, scientifically illogical beings actually existing is quite frankly retarded. Oh, I get it. So God doesn't exist either. Don't you talk about God that way! Number eight. Constantly acting like somehow their music preference is better than yours. We poppin' bottles in the club. Everybody showing us love. We poppin' bottles. Turn it off. Number nine, stupidly wondering why you can't be honest with them when whenever you tell them the truth, they freak out on you. Hey dad, can I tell you something without you getting pissed off? Honey, you can tell me anything. I love you and I won't be mad no matter what. Okay, I think I might be gay. What? You are not my daughter. You are, you're never, I, you're horrible. Hey, sweetie, uh, where were you today? Uh, a restaurant. Uh-huh, with who? I was with no one. You're lying to me, aren't you? I can smell it. 
Uh, yeah, because you'll freak out. Sweetie, don't be afraid. You have nothing to be afraid of. I won't freak out. That's what you said last time. That was then, and this is now. Okay, fine. I was with my lesbian girlfriend. Ah! Number 10. Quite a few parents get obsessively overattached when you move out. You have 452 messages. Hey, dear. It's been 45 minutes since you left, but it feels like 556 years, so call me back. So, you hate me. Is that it? You haven't called in three hours. Just wondering why. <sighs> you know what? I hate you too! You ungrateful, spoiled, rotten brat! Bye. I'm so sorry about the last message. I was, I, I'm just, I, you know, I miss you. You know what? I regret ever conceiving you, you rotten little pig! Bye! Hey, so it's been five hours now since you left. Uh, listen, whatever I did, I'm sorry, okay? Your daddy loves you. I will murder you in your sleep and when you, oh, you're gonna die! Okay, call me back. Bye. Hey, I have the right to spank you if I want to. 